Hi guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to another video tutorial on creating an ASP.NET Core application with Angular 7. In the last video tutorial, we finished coding the product routing module. Now we need to go ahead and check all these routes to make sure that these routes are working fine. Now in order to check if the product route is working fine, I'll go ahead and open my application in the browser. I click and open my inspect tabs to make sure that I can see if I have any errors that have been displayed in the developer console. Also, I will then go ahead and try to access the products route. So when I click on the products route, I'm being redirected to the home page. Now, this type of error that is not being displayed is basically mean meaning that we or the app routing module of our application cannot find a route called as products so whenever we cannot find a particular route inside the app routing module we have clearly mentioned that please redirect the client to the home page so if i go back to my application now go to my app routing module and here when the request comes in to route to the products module and the routing module checks for any route which contains the path products it cannot find any route that contains the path products therefore it redirects the user to the home page which is what we have coded inside this application now let's go ahead and add our products route so it can find it and then redirect the client to the appropriate route so to add the product route i'll just add it before the login and register method so let's go ahead and do that so path and for the path, I will obviously use the products path because that's what the client is requesting. And then, comma, what I want to do here is add the redirect uh, route. Now, what component do I want to redirect the user or the client to? If I will add the component name here, for example, I add product list component over here. That's the component where I want to redirect the user to. Then there's no point of creating this separate products routing module because we have already declared the routing here inside this module. So why should I add an additional statement here saying redirect it to the product list component when I already have it declared here? So what I want you to note here is that inside this app routing modules, if you carefully look, when we look at the import statement, it's importing these routes for the root of our application. That means that these routes are applied on the entire application. Whereas if you look at the product routing module, it's importing the module routes for the child of this application, which means that this routing module, which is products, is a child route and it's a, it's using these routes for this specific module which is product routing modules only not for the entire application so if you go back here instead of redirecting the request to the component we will request the app routing module to load the children for our products module so how do we add the path to load the request to load the request for our product paths so inside this quotation marks I'm just going to go ahead and add the products folders path then the module name which is products dot module forward slash so not forward slash sorry so we have completed so we are inside the products dot module now to load the appropriate module we need to call the class associated with the routing module so the class associated with our products routing module that is responsible for exporting these parts or this module is the product module.ts which is the products module class now we have to then specify that in the path of our load children so the way we do that is we put a hashtag over here and then specify the class name. That's how we do it in Angular. So now when it goes to products, products module, it will request the products module class to import the specified paths of products. 
So that should be it for this. Now let's go back to our browser and check if we can access the products bar. So we are not being redirected to the home page because the Angular application can find the path, but still we are getting an error. And what is this error? So it is telling us that it cannot find the product list component. Now let's go back to our application and fix this. So where is this product list component? I don't see anywhere inside the products routing module or inside the products module.ts that I have imported the uh, product list component. So when the request came to load the product list component, the product routing module said, oh, you're requesting the products path. Therefore, we will redirect you to the product list component. So it goes in tells to load the products list component to the product module.ts class which is responsible to load or to redirect the uh, route requests but here when it is requesting product module.ts or product module class to load the product list component it cannot find it inside here therefore inside the browser it's telling oh it cannot find the product list component and it's throwing an error in your browser so what we want to do here is from the app routing module sorry from the app dot module dot ts file which is responsible for routing app routes we will go ahead and delete our product list and product detail component because this app routing module is no longer responsible for that it's the product routing module that's responsible for routing this request to these components so what we will go ahead and do is remove this from here as well and then save this app module.ts file go to our product module.ts file and add these imports into our declaration here so previously we had it inside the ng module declaration array now inside the app module.ts file now we are moving it to the products module.ts file so let's do that so we want to add the product list component and the products detail component over here also let's add the missing import statement so we don't get any error save this now we have these product list and product details and product list component over here so whenever the request is made for, to product routing module to route this products path request to product list component it will tell product module ts and product module ts now has the path inside it so it will redirect it to the appropriate path so let's go ahead and check in the browser if we are still getting this error so let's go forward slash products so now if you notice that we are not getting the same error but we are getting error related to form group so it's saying that it cannot find a module for the attribute form group which makes sense because if we go back to the product list component that we have inside products and the html because it's trying to load the html and here we have the form form group the form control these are all parts of the form module these all belong to the form modules class or the form module groups if you go back to your app module.ts we have them declared here because we have used them in the login form and the registration form similarly we also have used the form modules inside the product list component but we have not yet declared the modules inside the product module.ts therefore we are getting an error saying that it cannot find these modules so it's not able to load the form components or the form attributes or the form elements so to do that let's go ahead and add them so here inside the imports array for our ng module of the products module.ts i'm going to 
comma and add these two modules which is the form modules and the reactive form modules that we need for our list component product list component also now since i have them i need to import this at the import statement because i have not yet imported them and i'm getting this error so let's add the import statement here importing forms module and reactive forms module from angular forms we should not see any error now let's go back to our application in the browser we have no errors let's check if everything works fine so now if we request products and hit enter we should see no errors and we can see that the table bootstrap table is loading fine and we have some buttons here we are missing the font awesome icons which we will install in the next video tutorial i will show you how you can how you can install font awesome icons and use them in your application so as of now we have the ui loading without any errors we can refresh and check so this should be it for this video tutorial so now go ahead and please like and subscribe my channel if you have any questions use the comment section all the code will be available under the Dave's Ops repos. Thank you once again for watching this video tutorial.